Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the boards that we use in this project. We are going to talk about Arduino, what are the pins that we use and what are they so special. Also, we are going to talk about the edge bridge and the encoders. And in the next video we will build the project, finally. So, let's do it! First went, uh, I have right here the Arduino Mega uh, 25 system. This Arduino have a lot of pins and those pins could manage a lot of devices. But right here we know that we want to send signals to the motors and receive signals to the encoders. We have to do that. We have we are going to receive signals of the encoder and we are going to send some signals to the to the motors. But what kind of signals we are going to send to the motors? In the Arduino there are some pins that are called PWM pins. That pins sends kind of signals that makes that the motors uh, could manage the the the, mo uh, the the Arduino could manage the velocity of the motors or the brainers a lead. In my case, right here we have the pins 2, 2, 2, 13. Those pins are PWM uh, pins. That PWM pins uh, we could use it. Uh, for handle the velocity of the of the motors. Then uh, I choose use uh, the pins 10 and the pin 11. Those pins are the that are the pins selected to handle the velocity of our project. Then uh, we know that we are going to use those pins for control the velocity of the of the wheels. Those are the pins that we are going to use to send signals to the motors but we are going to receive the signals too we are going to receive the signal of the colors and the colors send a signal to a, an Arduino but what kind of pins we are going to use for the Arduino for this kind of signals we are going to use a particular case of pins the pins we are allowed to use are pins that could handle interruptions. That interruptions are important for for use for this encoder. That that pins that could handle interruption. There are a lot of pins that I could use in this Arduino Mega. But if you have another board, you have to search for. What are the pins that you are going to use? In my case, I, I found that the pin 2 and pin, and pin 3, that pins allows interruptions. That interruptions are very important for this encoder. But what are important to use interruption? Those pins, when uh, some of these pins receive a signal and I set up the board to use interruption for this pin the main program of the Arduino could, could be running and when you receive for the pin a interruption a, a signal for this pin then the program stops and goes to make uh, some instructions that I gave to do, to this pin it makes that in uh, that interruption it interrupts the program the main program makes other instructions and when it finish it returns to the main program and and tries uh, to do the main program uh, back again it tried to make it but if it 
receive another interruption, another signal for the pin of interruption. It interrupts again the main program and it tries to execute some instruction. It tries to and it back again when it finishes that. It backs again to the main program and try to make that. Okay, the bridge edge, uh, this is a shield that could handle the power of the motor and there is a interface between the Arduino and our motors. That interface right here we have some connections, that connections, that green connectors makes that the, we could uh, connect the motor right here and another motor right here. And the blue one, the blue connector, possibility of connect the power uh, different uh, tension levels of the of the motors right here we are going to use uh, 12 volts and then we could connect right here to 12 volts and that that is the voltage that are going to use to handle to move the, the motors and the other hand we have right here some pins that pins that means we have we have right now six pins we have three pins to handle one motor and the other three pins to handle another motor if we think only in the first pins we could use two of those pins to handle the direction of the movement of the wheel and the the other pin we have Two. With two of these uh, three pins, we could control the, the direction of the rotation. And the other one pin, we could control the velocity of, of this rotation. In this case, the, the, the pin is called enabled. That enabled pins receive the PWM signal that comes from our Arduino and, and tries to to convert that signals that PWM in the that received in five volts uh, that is convert to to a signal a PWM signal of 12 volts and that makes that we could control right here we send the signal we we send a signal from our Arduino to these pins and we control right here the velocity of the motor to 12 volts okay right here we have uh, the last element that we are going to use in this project those are the colors then colors that there are optical encoders and this encoders makes that when the that will have a, a lot of uh, holes around the disc and that disc when moves throughout the sensor if uh, this sensor has a uh, infrared light that infrared light uh, when is coat uh, when it's cut for, from the, this element when it rotates uh, there are some space that the, the laser is cut when, when, the, when the sensor when the wheels cut the, the light that sensor feels could sense that interruption and that sense that send a message to the Arduino to the interruption to the interruption pins that we select in in the last video. Right here we have a, we have four pins. A, we are going only use three of them. A, the first one that is BCC, BCC that is voltage five voltage that we are going to use from the from the battery, the G, GND, GND that is the ground of the of, of the project that we use uh, zero volt, zero volts, and the output D zero, D zero in this case is the output of this shield, 
and that goes to the interruption pin that we select in the last video and that's it it's, it's too simple to use it uh, those those encoders are are cheaper and and easy to use it sometimes it have some noise when the laser uh, it could have some bounce uh, that make that the that the reading of the Arduino that that doesn't good enough but we use in this case uh, that ceramical condenser and that ceramical condenser uh, makes that the these noises disappear but uh, in the connection I'm going to explain that but that's it that's it that, that is very cheaper and easy to use it and finally the battery right here we have a uh, that battery that is, is a big battery that is a lot for this project we don't need to use that uh, that kind of battery that that battery has 500 uh, milli amperes that is a lot for this project we could use a, a smaller battery that is eccentricity don't have another battery I have to use it this this battery that's it if you need to use some breadboard important for to make some connections I am going to let this video right here uh, I know that this video is long and there are a lot of videos uh, talking about this topic but uh, those are very important because we talk about uh, a theoretical part and the next video we try to build uh, our car I am going to let the schematic in the next video and the other videos that, uh, that comes uh, soon uh, those videos I am going to explain the, the programming of, of this project and that's it I really like it if you if you like this video you share this video the help this help me a lot to to uh, do more videos like this thank you very much and see you later